So scientists are reporting that all nine Africans have Neanderthal within their DNA. And the only people on Earth who do not have traces of Neanderthal in their DNA are Sub-Saharan Africans. Meaning that humans fully evolved naturally into humans within Africa. And when they came out, introduced human DNA, human seed, to the Neanderthals. Which over a course of about 40,000 years, caused the majority of them to go extinct. And the rest to carry on with the human traits that the humans from Africa gave them. Turning them into Asians. Middle Easterners and Europeans. So, Homo sapiens fully formed in Africa 200,000 years ago. At the same time, outside of Africa, everybody who was at the Neanderthal, Neanderthal stage that left Africa within that time stayed a Neanderthal. The only people who turned into humans through evolution are the people who stay within the borders of Africa. Now, for 120,000 years, these are Homo sapiens in Africa, and there are Neanderthals in Europe and Asia. 100,000 years of us. Homo sapiens are the people who look like us, function like us today. Throwing, running, jumping, swimming, music, dance, Drawing, building, uh, understand seasons, uh, you know, moving with the seasons, gathering, storing, creating clothing, uh, you know, protection from the elements, makeshift huts. We doing that 120,000 years. Anatomically exact. Homo sapiens sapiens in Africa. We come out 80,000 years ago. Mass amounts of people have to because they all go up throughout Europe and Asia and they come across Neanderthals. Neanderthals at the time can't run, can't jump, can't swim. No dexterity in the hand. They bone structure do not allow them motor skills like Homo sapiens. They basically sit in one spot. They forage. They they can kind of communicate, grunt. They can only grip things like baseballs, baseball size. They got stones that they use. Homo sapiens, us. We come into contact with this species, Neanderthal. We obviously done travel a long way, thousands of miles, get up to the Caucasus Mountains over rough terrain. So we bring in goats, we bring in provisions, water, food. To go to where they was at, we had to go across thousands of miles, mountains, hills, valleys, everything. We travel. We get to where these Neanderthals at. What do you think happened? The humans from Africa see these Neanderthals and do what all Homo sapiens do. If we occupy in the same space of a species beneath us. Think when the humans came across the chimpanzees. I mean, the chimpanzees, the great apes, they are damn near extinct. When Homo sapiens come across a species below them, they either go extinct, wind up in the zoo, or get eaten. Now, Neanderthals live, in, live on among, in every Asian and European descendant. All Europeans, Asians, Indians, Latin carry the Neanderthal gene. Meaning that the humans overtook them and injected them with their DNA. And that's how they're living today. Them humans tried to create a slave race of intelligent slaves. 
they found these Neanderthals, found out they can reproduce with them, start either artificially inseminating them or breeding them, killing off the males, keeping the females, and using them to birth smarter and more intelligent slaves that they can run. Because you think Homo sapiens, Homo sapiens enslave other Homo sapiens. So it was a wrap for the Neanderthals. No way. That's why they extinct and only the genes live on in the inhabitants of Europe and Asia. Everybody outside of Africa got that Neanderthal gene because them groups of Africans that went out there was doing experiments on them, killing them off and just making them more and more human. Just like we want our computers to be smart. They probably thought that they can make a race of slaves and a race of chicks that they could have sex with. So they was interbreeding them, getting the smartest ones together, getting the smartest Africans they could get, and having them breed together. Because they said it happened hella fast. So obviously it was some targeted effort going on. They was really getting active on these Neanderthals and really just trying to turn them into humans that they could probably make work. And after 40,000 years, modern day Homo sapiens living amongst Neanderthals for 40,000 years until they finally all disappeared. You already know the Homo sapiens got busy on them Neanderthals. They was trying to make a race of slaves that they could have built, designed. Like when they found out that they could reproduce with them, that they could take their seed and insert it into the female Neanderthals. Because that's where the gene they say is passed on through, through the female. They was probably murking the males, using the females to breed. And just kept creating until they got smarter and smarter. Because they took probably getting the smartest Africans, the, the smartest Neanderthals, and was trying to make them so, just like we want our computers today, hella smart. Everything we want to work for is, like they talk about making them androids, they're going to make them hella smart. So they can do everything. They could perform the surgery. They could perform the analysis, make the blueprint. Humans always looking for a way not to do jack and have something else do it. You feel me? And I think they was trying to do that with the Neanderthal, introducing them to the to the, uh, human genes until they got closer and closer to humans, until they started looking at the thousand years. You got to think, if they was doing this for the first thousand years, by the year 2000, 3000, they damn near had that perfected it by then. They living amongst each other for 40,000 years. By year 10,000, you already know. Humans then killed off the ones they want to kill off and changed the genes that they want to change and made them into whatever they was trying to make them into. And now they just spawn it on their own when it's that many. You feel me? Another 10, 20 to get up to 30,000 years later. You know what I'm saying? You don't even remember how they got there or who created them or what for. They done did their own thing. Just like modern day slaves today who integrated in the American society, 10,000 years from now, after slavery, it's just gonna be all blended. You won't know what, how, no, them people won't know how they was brought here, probably. Unless they look at it and the record's still alive. But that's that's what happened, man. The Homo sapiens from Africa got busy on the Neanderthals trying to make a race of slaves, and they didn't flip the script because you made them hella smart because the smartest was breeding with the smartest, and they was trying to do what they do. They did that genetic. Humans been now, they offspring doing it with computers, robots, just a cycle repeating itself, so uh, they make them uh, robots hella smart, they probably gonna do the same thing, <laughs> flip the script, <laughs> so that's what it is, and they probably gonna find that evidence soon, or they probably don't even find that, that's why they on that pyramid, they know who the architects was of that shit, who made them.